Alright, what's up guys? It's Tim. How's everyone doing today? Today, I'm going to be talking all about Octane, and the gameplay you're watching is actually me playing with Air of Gotham. I'll link his channel in the description below. He also streams pretty often, and he's a really good Apex and Call of Duty player, and I'm sure a bunch of other games. Uh, so I was playing with him in this game, and we actually get the win with uh, one of his friends, so that's very exciting. It's actually on my first game as Octane, so that's also doubly exciting. So let's get into all about Octane. So how are you going to get Octane? Well, he's coming on the same day as the standard battle pass, but you will have to pay extra or separately if you want him. So for starters, the battle pass is going to be 950 coins, if you didn't know, which is going to be about 950 US dollars. You can also pay $28 to purchase the battle pass and unlock the first 25 tiers straight away. I'm not going to cover everything about in the battle pass because that's just for a separate video, and I'm sure everyone and their mom has probably made a video on that already, so I'm going to try to focus more on Octane for this video. As far as Octane goes, he's going to cost 12,000 Legend Tokens or 750 Apex Coins. Not a terrible deal, and uh, if you play Apex in, you know, enough or you're a YouTuber, you might as well, you know, why not get him. Octane, interestingly enough, was leaked a long time ago and hinted in data mines, and uh, I think a lot of people knew he was coming for quite a while, so it's pretty cool that, you know, people were right and Octane is actually here in the game. Let's get into Octane's abilities now. So to start off, his uh, tactical ability is the Adrenaline Junkie, which allows him to move 30% faster for 6 seconds, and it also costs 10% health, and you're immune to slows while this is active. Moving 30% faster for 6 seconds is actually a pretty big deal. It's kind of like Bangalore's, you know, when, he's get sh when she gets shot at, uh, she moves a little faster. You know, speed is very important in Apex Legends because it's very hard to hit people, and the people have a lot of health with armor, so the ability to move and dodge faster for even a short amount of time is very key. Um, so this tactical ability ranks pretty high among all Legends, I would say. Now the 10% health drawback is to keep this in check. It's so that you don't just completely go out of control and you need to really focus on you know, maintaining your health as well as your speed in these close quarters gunfights because Octane, in my opinion, is designed for high speed, you know, getting in your face and uh, just you know, taking people out with like a wingman or a peacekeeper. Now how this ability works is that you lose 10% health to gain 30% speed for a little bit, you know, six seconds to be exact. And you think that this is, you might think that this is a really bad thing. However, his passive ability, Swift Mend, means that while you're not taking damage, Octane restores health over time. And so this directly complements the Adrenaline Junkie tactical ability because you get the health back at a decent rate. I'm not going to say it's super fast or super slow, but you do get the health back at a pretty decent rate. And so for that reason, the tactical ability is not bad at all. While we're on abilities, let's talk about the launch pad. It's just a deployable jump pad that you can use throughout uh, to catapult yourself through the air. You know, your teammates can use it, you can use it, and your enemies can use it. So, um, yeah, you. I don't. And I'm not sure if you can deploy multiple at the same time, or if like when you put one down, the others go away. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. I haven't had enough time to play with him because this is the first day he's come out. But I do know that the launch pad's recharge time is pretty fast. I would say three minutes or less. Now it's recommended that. Uh, you use assault rifles, SMGs, or up close shotguns if you're using Octane, mainly because of his playstyle to get all up in your face and use your speed to uh, rush enemies who may not be ready for it. That's kind of it for the abilities section, the facts and all that stuff. Uh, now let's get into my personal opinion on Octane himself. So personally, I like Octane. I think the speed is key. I think the speed is very fun in a game like Apex Legends and definitely does not deserve to be slept on. I think this is a very well-designed uh a very well designed legend as of right now who knows maybe someone will find you know huge exploits with like the jump pad or anything like that i do think that the tactile ability could be borderline op it depends they might need to nerf that down to like four seconds or something like that in the near future just from a few games of playing with octane i think that he moves pretty fast for you know a, a decent amount of time and the health regen i'm not sure if that needs to be nerfed like i said before it's a decently slow it's not like it's going to get out of hand really quickly or anything so i i wouldn't worry too too much about that i do think it's a very nice handy feature kind of how lifeline has that in a similar fashion as far as the launch pad goes i don't think this is super important or super key it's kind of like you know pathfinders thing like oh you can get away faster or things like that but it's not going to like you know slow your enemy down it's not going to affect your enemy in any way so I, I wouldn't worry too much about the launch pad if you're facing an octane 
overall, I don't think Octane's the best. I still like Bloodhound. I still like Mirage. I think Octane is just you know something fun to have uh, in this game. But I don't. I don't think if you ha if you don't have it, it's not like you know you're suffering a huge drawback or a huge loss or anything. So don't worry if you don't have Octane. Um, currently, I would rank him probably near the middle, maybe more so the front. I put him either. Th I would put him at third or fourth best legend as of right now. You can see my stats here at the end of the game and just see how I did uh, not not I didn't do amazing compared to my teammates but hey you know a win's a win so thanks for watching guys if you want to see more Apex Legends videos make sure to subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed this octane guide or you know overview or whatever and if you enjoyed it you know make sure to leave a like uh, like I said I will be here making Apex Legends and Call of Duty videos so subscribe if you're new and until my next one I'll have, have a great day guys peace